In this video, I just wanted to quickly discuss some of the pros and cons of using hooks with weed guards, uh, such as this one, or using hooks where you would use the body of the lure to basically hide the hook point and make that lure weedless. So weed guards versus weedless hooks. So first let's talk about hooks with weed guards. Now I didn't have a standard wide gap hook with a weed guard. This is a jig head, but we're mainly focusing on the weed guard themselves. So the pros and cons, the nice thing about the weed guard, uh, as far as the lure goes, is that whenever you get a strike, you know, the lure really doesn't get torn up as much. Just that weed guard gets pushed out of the way, hook points now exposed, and then, you know, the lure really doesn't go anywhere. Now, when you're using a wide gap hook or a spring lock hook or any sort of Texas rigging style hook, you know, whenever that lure comes off of that hook point, it gets pulled off and it will basically start tearing up that bait. So a big pro or advantage of the weed guard is that your soft plastics will last much longer. Now, another advantage that I found when using a weed guard, it comes back down to the bait itself again. You know, you don't have to keep repositioning the bait on the hook. The only thing that really moves is the weed guard itself. So if you get a strike or after a few casts, the weed guard may pop out. You know, all you have to do is put that weed guard back in place if you're using a metal one. And then if you're using, uh, you know, hooks that have a weed guard where it's really, it's really just a big thick piece of monofilament that sort of stands in line with the point of the hook that keeps weeds and everything from snagging on the hook itself, you really don't have to do anything. Sometimes you can sort of adjust that piece of monofilament, but for the most part, you don't really have to do much. Now, some of the main things that I don't like about the weed guard, especially if you're using some of these metal weed guards uh, that go underneath the actual point of the hook and then come up over the hook a little bit, is that sometimes, you know, when a fish strikes, it can actually get stuck. As you can see there, I'm pushing down on that weed guard and it's stuck on the point of the hook because I'm pushing to the side. So if you get, you know, this hook in a fish's mouth and they end up pushing that weed guard to the side, it's not gonna come out. You really have to apply pressure straight down on that weed guard for it to come out. So you may miss quite a few fish if you are using you know, these metal weed guards on your hooks. And then one last disadvantage about using a weed guard is just the fact that it could break off and then you're left with an exposed hook. So you would have to completely switch out the hook if the weed guard does break off and you wanna keep your bait weedless. And now next, I wanted to talk about rigging your baits weedless by basically just using the hook itself. You bury the hook into the plastic of the bait and the plastic of the bait is what makes that hook weedless. Now, this is where, you know, these hooks that have these weed guards, if that weed guard does break off, like I was saying, it's going to be tough to rig these up and keep them straight because if you're using a hook that has a weed guard, the hook is typically just going to have a straight shank. As you can see, the shank of that hook is completely uh, straight. So if you rig a bait on there, your hook is gonna be in that direction and the nose of the bait's gonna be a little bit curved. And if the nose of the bait's curved, it's going to cause your bait to spin and helicopter and just not have a natural presentation. So you have to be using the proper hooks for this, which would either be you know, a wide gap hook. As you can see, it has that bend at the top. So if you do put your bait on this type of hook, it stays straight as you can see, uh, just by the shape of the hook there, as opposed to a hook that doesn't have that bend, you know, that hook is going to be facing like that and your bait's gonna be curved and it's not gonna be a good presentation. So make sure you're either using one of these wide gap hooks or a spring lock hook, such as the owner twist lock hook. So now the main advantage that I find when rigging up your soft plastics this way is that the hookup ratio seems to be much better. As I mentioned before, when you're using those weed guards, sometimes that weed guard will get in the way or it'll get stuck on the hook point and you'll miss a fish. With this method, you know, as soon as a fish strikes because of the plastic just being able to give and get out of the way easily, that hook point will be exposed and you have more of a chance of hooking into those fish. Also, when you do hook into a fish, you have a better chance of keeping that fish on because oftentimes your bait might come you know, down the hook, it might slide all the way down the hook and you have more of the hook in the fish's mouth as opposed to a hook that has a weed guard, your bait is pretty much stuck there unless it rips off. So you have a smaller portion of the hook in the fish's mouth. Also, 
the bait could you know come off of the hook point and it'll just be hanging free and then you have the entire hook in the fish's mouth so you have a lot more play there to keep the fish on as opposed to having a, having a limited section of hook uh, exposed and you have more of a chance of that fish popping off and then lastly as far as some of the disadvantages of this rigging again it comes down to you know the lure getting torn up because of the fact that you have to bury that hook point you know every time a fish strikes or that lure comes off of that hook point it's tearing up that plastic so it will reduce the lifespan of your bait and then another disadvantage would be if you're using a bait that is too big for your hook you're not going to have a lot of clearance between the belly of the bait and the shank of the hook so if a fish strikes there's nowhere for the plastic to go and you have to make sure that you know make sure you have a good amount of a gap there that way that hook point can get exposed when that bait gets out of the way. So hopefully this video can help you out if you are trying to decide whether or not you want to use hooks with weed guards or if you want to just uh, rig your hooks weedless using certain styles of hooks. When it comes down to it, my preferred method is to rig them weedless by using the hook itself as opposed to using hooks with weed guards. It's just a more universal uh, application. It works out really well and I tend to hook more fish using this method. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Also, if you're interested in these baits or these hooks, we do sell them on our shop page at fishstrong.com. And if you're one of our insider members, you do get 20% off. So definitely be sure to take advantage of that. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. If you are new to Salt Strong, we are the largest online fishing club for saltwater anglers and we guarantee you two things. Number one, you'll start catching more fish in less time. And number two, you will save a ton of money on your favorite tackle and gear with discounts available exclusively for our members. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com and we'll see you there. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live Salt Strong in where the lines are dead.